Hi, my name is Robert. I'm with Aquatic Life. What I've got for you today is the Smart Buddy Booster Pump. Don't mind me, I'm reading off a script. My boss didn't want me to jack this up. RO booster pumps are used to increase the pressure going into your RO or RODI system. The increased water pressure allows it to operate more efficiently, producing less wastewater, and it also decreases the consumption of your DI resin. The Smart Buddy is designed to be an accessory to most 50 to 100 gallon per day RO units in areas with low water pressure or for users that want maximum output and the best quality filtered water from their RO system. The Smart Buddy booster pump is quiet, easy to install, and can significantly increase water output. To connect the Smart Buddy, you're going to need quarter inch tubing, which Aquatic Life does offer in three different colors, and this helps you identify your supply water, your waste water, and your filtered water. So we're going to go ahead and connect our Smart Buddy to one of our Aquatic Life RO Juniors. Before we begin plumbing, we're going to want to remove the blue collar and the white plugs. In order to do that, you're going to want to take, you can make your life a little easier, you can take a flathead screwdriver and you're going to place it in between the blue collar and the white fitting. And go ahead and lift up and lift up on that one. Now to get rid of this white plug, we're going to push the white collar down and pull it out. Push it down, pull it out, and you're going to want to remove the remaining four. Once you've removed those four, you're ready to start plumbing. So what we've got here is our RO Junior. We're going to go ahead and bypass the solenoid valve and our flow restrictor. So in order to do that, we're going to take the carbon supply, disconnect that, Press the white collar down, remove the tubing. We're going to go ahead and take our filtered, remove that. White collar down and remove that. One other thing that we're going to have to remove is the membrane. Well, not the membrane, but the supply water going into the membrane. Remove that white collar down, tubing out. And last but not least, we're going to remove our waste. Blue collar out, white collar down, and that gets rid of the flow restrictor. So in order to plumb this, we're going to take our yellow tubing and we're going to go from this carbon into the top first upper right hand corner. That down. Now we're going to take another yellow tubing and go from this bottom right into the top of our membrane. And here's where we're going to go. Now we've got that hooked up. We're going to go from our what is this? Our wastewater into the top center. The wastewater just as a refresher is the one on the left. Into the top center. Now we're going to take our waste line The waste line is going to go to the bottom, and this can go into a collection tank where you can water your plants or whatever you might do with it. Now for our filtered water, we're going to take, hook up the one on the right into the upper left hand corner. And now we'll take our filtered, which is going to be our bottom left, and that you're going to want going into your collection tank. Now we've got our tubing in place. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and place the blue collars back on. Before we do that, let's pull on the tubing, make sure it's all in secure. 
we're good to go. So let's place the collars on. One and two. Now an important thing to remember is that your tap water is still going to go into your supply. This is your supply. We're not going to change that up and put that our supply into the booster. That'll ruin it. We want to keep the supply constant. Before we go, here's why we decided to call this the Smart Buddy. Inside this white box are multiple sensors, a solenoid valve, a flow restrictor, and a low voltage transformer. This means every time you decide to make water and turn this on, it's going to flush the membrane, and that's going to help prevent your membranes, I mean, prolong your membrane's life. Um, in addition, if the water pressure drops too low, the booster pump's going to turn off, and that's because of the sensors. If the, sense, if the system senses 33 to 36 psi on the filtered water side, it's also going to shut off. So when your sump is full or if the pressurized holding tank reaches its limit, you don't have to worry about shutting it off because it's going to shut itself off. For more information about this product or any other Aquatic Life product, visit our website at www.aquaticlife.com or give us a call at 888-548-3480. Happy reefing!